Yeah, totally. So I, I know I grew up in Wisconsin. I'm a came from a town of 2,500 people. A very small, great, very, um, very supportive family. And I went to UW Madison, got degrees in finance, Spanish, and management, and then got a Wall Street job afterward where I was a sell side equity analyst, analyzing medical device and pharmaceutical stocks. And I ended up getting my CFA charter holder designation while I was there. It's an MBA, but specifically for financial analysis. But I just felt like the corporate life probably wasn't for me. And so I ended up being a nine time business owner, I ended up owning three health clubs in three different states, full break, I fixed cell phone repair stores a technology startup, and then I sold all of those um, businesses. And my current consultancy is called Humans First. I do fractional CFO work, and I also help individuals, groups, and organizations improve uh, their mental health, relationships, and productivity through better technology mindfulness. I feel like my background is unique in that I really understand the finance side of things from, from a business standpoint, but I really understand operations and entrepreneurship. And generally, those two types of people are totally opposite. Entrepreneurs and finance yes. people, very different, but I'm somehow managed to be those two people in what? Yeah, it's really, it's really fun. That's a cool journey that you, did you actually move to New York and work on Wall Street or did you stay in Wisconsin? So I stayed in Wisconsin. The, the firm that I was at was one of the biggest investment banks in Wisconsin called Robert Baird. When they, you know, my, I, my family's from there and my girlfriend at the time was living there, so it just made sense to me, but there was still a very, one of the most respected middle market investment banks and research departments on Wall Street. So I saw in your bio, you basically accomplished everything you want. You bought everything, but you just were not fulfilled. And that's why you went out and bought those other businesses. So then what happened when you bought those other businesses? You were not fulfilled with those either? No, I was fulfilled with them, but I just, you have to learn the life cycle of when, you know, what's happening in an industry and when a business is competitive and when the business model is becoming not as competitive. And I just felt like with the businesses I was in, I stayed in them until they weren't necessarily competitive anymore. And then it was time to move on to something else. And I, I try to see that before it happens and because you don't want to hold on to something too long and then have the value decline. And so it just made sense for me to sell them when I did. 